to this. Wow, what a difference a front cap would make. Well, a front windshield. I'm able to wake up to the sunrise. Can't beat that. It's one of the features that this Jayco provides. morning good evening good afternoon or whatever time of the day this video may catch you <sighs> welcome to another adventure bandit video brought to you by the venture bandits themselves and there may be some sponsors in this video let's just see how this progress anyway we have been enjoying our new toy hauler and flip you around this is the toy park. This is supposed to be Ashanti's room. She got it set up, but she have not yet sat in here. As you can see, taking over the living room. But I'm here washing clothes. Enjoying the outside. like to welcome you guys to the vlog welcome to the vlog guys this was a quick stop for us we had to come back to the Orlando area because we had to get some packages mailed to us we have a storage nearby and that's the only address that we have down here we do not have an address down here a lot of parks charge you to have packages delivered so we choose to have it delivered to our storage because sometimes we put the packages right in our storage unit once it's arrived. Um, so we got some nice things, guys, for this fifth wheel. And a fifth wheel is so much different from a travel trailer. We had to go get some jack blocks from Anderson. Also had to get that nice hitch back there from our friends over at E-Trailer. We ordered from E-Trailer and we ordered from Anderson. So I'm gonna be telling you a little about this, these items when we arrive at our next destination. We are headed to Tampa for a fun filled week. Now that all the snowbirds have, le have left, well, some of them um, still lingering around, but a majority of them are left. And now we're able to get into some of these parks to check them out. We told you guys that we're gonna be on the go here in Florida and that's what we plan on doing. So we have made it to Bay Bayou, which is located in Tampa, Florida. Um, from my understanding, Ashanti said that it's a 55 and over um, RV resort. So we're gonna be checking this place out. We're finally able to get into these resorts because all the snowbirds left. Neither one of us is 55 though. <laughs> so they are making exceptions being that all the snowbirds left. So this is our site. They put us on a nice wide pad. And this is wide enough for our side deck. And also they do not allow you to have anything over the grass. Everything got to stay on your pad. So we have to pull up a little further so that we still can let out our back deck and keep it out. 
Um, I'm not used to that. I hear birds chirping, but that's gonna be nice in the mornings. So let me show you this. Um, reason why we went back to Thousand Trails Orlando because I said it earlier, um, it's closer to Davenport where we, we have a storage. So I went back to get my Anderson buckets. I've been waiting on these things for about a week now. Um, along with my Anderson bucket, I got some, I got some more stuff back there in the boxes. So I am excited to use these buckets. I'm gonna be um, telling you guys a lot about these buckets. Um, also, I got eye allergies bad. I mean, lately my eyes been irritated for some reason. And I gotta figure out what to do about it. So I'm about to get my buckets out and get these jacks down. Look at that. Isn't that cool, guys? So what are these weighted at? Um, I think they're 6,000 pounds a bucket. All right, what I do like about these Anderson shot blocks they have a magnet on them where they stick to your jacks which is so neat so I don't have to be on both sides of the RV adjusting to make sure the RV lands on the jack So I do want to point something out to you guys. Look at Smokey wearing them pretty high heels. Fingernails done. Toe jams done. I'm liking the red. Thank you, Anderson. Definitely need those. That makes it even prettier. Look at her. gotta have certain parts to make it all complete and the Anderson Jack blocks is doing it and it, it actually it came in a kit it came in the kit yeah okay. we still have left over all right well not left over but unused yeah unused these are like the pads you ride up on them okay uh, like you are even okay okay the ramps you got ramps um, you got up four of these here. I got two of them over there. Well, I got, I'm using two, two, four, three already. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Why did you place it there? One there. Because if you notice that it's off. Okay. To, you see how it's off? And I didn't want the RV sliding to the side, so. Okay. I put a, one of those pads up there. All right. Even. And then I saw the other ones on the stairs. The stairs, yes. Nice. Everything with red. Everything matches, you know. Nice. Everything matches. So, how much is this kit? Because this is a nice kit. Um, they, they got many different uh, kits. Yeah, kits and different prices is on what you want. Like I wanted the, I wanted the, uh, the ramps. Mm -hmm. I wanted the blocks, and I had to get the jack blocks. And, and we always use these pads for something. Yeah, we, we do. Okay. We some yellow pads in there, but I wanted everything to match. Right. Know? Coordinate. Yeah. yeah. And, and then it matches the red that's in the... In the Jayco symbol. Yeah, in the Jayco symbol yeah. up there. So yeah. that's nice. Yeah, we're, we're coordinating. Coordinating from the rooted to the tootie. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that was in the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> it was. Um, I'm trying to remember the movie, but... I remember, I remember hearing it, and 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 that's a southern saying you know, too. They, they say they eat stuff when they ask, do you eat swine and stuff like that? They say, yeah, I eat it from the rooter to the to the titter. titter. But I've heard too, uh, you could coordinate from it, it means from, from top to from top to bottom. Okay. Yeah. If you say so. I say so. Guys, is that true? You let us know. I I say so. You coordinate I, from the rudder to the tutor. Yeah, you you're matching from top to bottom. This is on here. It's from 
front to back. There you go. And then we got the top up there with the size seismic sign. Thank you guys for hitting that play button, like my husband would say. And welcome to the vlog. And bandits out. <laughs> I love making fun of him because those are things that we have definitely coined to be adventure bandits. But I want to talk about this park because this park is some place new. It's big rig friendly and it's peaceful. You can hear them playing pickleball over there, but it's nice. So I would have to guess this is definitely very deep. And when I say deep, I'm talking about in length. So yes, it is big rig friendly. Then look at your width right there okay now they do have a rule here where they do not want anything hanging over into the grass area understandable you want to know why it's because they are very meticulous about the property and when i say meticulous that's a good thing they have beautiful plants they're starting out and growing out for everyone they have trees that they have planted. Tree right there. And yes, I did check to make sure that it had no dead or I should say cracked limbs for us RVers to be concerned about. So the reason why they don't want you to have anything in the grass area is so that their workers can easily maneuver to and from each site and not have to worry about picking up rugs or uh, going up underneath, having someone to arrive to a unmanicured site. So where am I going with this? I would have to say, you know, a lot of times we do our reviews and we look at places that we're going to go to just to see what the previous people thought about it. It's a clean site. It's a clean campground. That means they have people that really care about the work that they do. And I appreciate that. You can have dogs. I've seen kids here. No. Because uh -huh. Ed. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys, we are here with our gracious neighbors that came out gracious. as soon as we were backing up. And I will have her introduce herself, tell us where she's from, and how long she's been RVing. Hi, I'm Michelle Bowersox from Pennsylvania, Central Pennsylvania. Uh, we've been RVing since 2018. Last three years, we retired and we're out here eight to nine months a year, loving it. Nice, loving it. nice. So there were, okay, so there were a couple of things that she said. One of the things that she said, because I told you, her husband came over when town was gone. I explained we're doing our shakedown, but when he came over, he was telling us about, or telling me about the water leak. And I 
thought it was something really bad, but it was it came out to be what washers. Washers. Yeah. Five <laughs> washers. cent washers. Yep. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. Put them in your RV. And something to always keep on deck. But she said something that really struck me. When you get an RV, you're gonna have to rely on your fellow RVers, Absolutely. or you are gonna be what sucking your thumb sucking in the RV. Your thumb in your RV when it's breaking down around you because. If we don't help each other out, look at other campers, see lights flashing, water running. Um, we've already been in campgrounds where a person's sewer hose flew out. Wow. And it was <laughs> Yeah, so I could get to the office quick enough to get that taken care of. But no, nope, we've got to be a community out there helping each other out all the way. I love it. I love it. Then what I found out is that she was sharing a story with my husband about the sewer black tank. Okay. Everybody needs to know, and they don't tell you this when you buy these campers. They kind of give you the 101. We need better 101s. We need yes. dummy 101s. So we actually had people come in next to us who left their black water tank open. Ooh. Never, ever, ever. They had a poop pile, toilet paper clog that took four days and 10 campers dumping every chemical we had, every pot of hot water we had, snakes and everything else to help them to get that to move through their hose. Needless to say, we did it, but it was all seasoned campers. They learned. Yeah. Close that tank and use some chemicals. When they say it's camper toilet paper, use it. Right. Use lots of water too. Lots and lots of water. Yeah. So, yeah. so guys, what we usually do, we don't open our black tank until the day that we leave it. The last day. And sometimes we'll dump the night before if we know that we're going to another pool yeah. hookup. Do you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Dump the we'll night do before. the same thing, yeah. Yeah, so... so always leave your black tank closed the gray tank you can leave open but like what we like to do also is the last day we'll close the gray tank or the last two days we'll close the gray tank that way after we dump the black tank we can pull the gray tank to clean out the hose yeah as well. absolutely yeah mm -hmm. get rid of it all Just a couple <laughs> little trick couple absolutely little tricks. tricks absolutely yeah. and do you ever use ice cubes well my brother has a campground and okay. he said, ice cubes, you need to think of it this way. Ice cube, if you put it in a cup, how long does it last? Mm -hmm. right. So if you're dumping a bag of ice down, you need to dump 10 bags of ice if you want it wow. to go he around. It to because he said, you're going down the highway, the heat from the highway doesn't last long. So in mm -hmm. essence, all you're doing is putting water in your tank. So in your campground, put that five, six, mm -hmm. seven gallons, my husband times it on his phone. He knows how many gallons can go in on his phone, and then that way you'll never over flood it. You know, you'll never have that backup, and um, that sloshes it around. Borax and Dawn are your friend too. Cut that and slide it into your microwave. Microwave. Okay, so Michelle is giving us a lot of nice tips, tips that us. RVers need to know, especially when we're new at it, right? So I want her to explain the noodle trick. The pool noodle. Um, a woman gave it to me. Everybody has trouble in their microwave with their glass plate sliding around. Get a dollar pool noodle, cut it to the size, slide it straight in like that when you get where you're going. The glass plate's there. You can also, because I do this, put bread in there. It still doesn't move and it still holds your plate in place for a dollar and you don't have to worry about that glass sliding out so I've had that happen one time and then what I had to do with our next RV rig was I kept taking the glass out but I kept putting it in another place where it could have been at risk but on you know luckily for me it didn't break however what she is saying is you don't even have to remove that at all you just put that pool noodle in and voila yeah it easy worked. peasy absolutely five years yeah five and years. what's something that you do to the you do for the rv community when you go to different places you buy a pool noodle yep and you hand them out as well so she's paying it for it absolutely to 
everybody. I've probably given out 40 of them. Nice. Yeah. Love and doing it, it. And it's only a, do a dollar. A dollar. And yeah. you can probably get at least, what, five out of a... I wouldn't say five or six. Nice. But, yeah. day huh nice sunny we're getting ready to go moseying on up the street mosey to, on down the road yeah mosey on down the road <laughs> to, you could be to ohio for messing up some words so <laughs> phrase. hey wow. I, i'm trying to put in my little twist yeah you got a twist all right <laughs> gotta stay out of their way <laughs> hi good morning <laughs> So as you can see, this park is definitely Big Rick friendly. Uh, you want to tell everyone where we're at? Well, we have Bay Bayou Park Rules. Is that what that says? So this is their pool area and it's pretty nice Oops, sorry and it's here or there <laughs> very nice pool come out here wow how pretty is this what do you think you guys definitely something your kids will enjoy it is not heated which you don't need in florida especially when it's warm but check out the tiki bar there i did hear that um at times they will have a live band come and they will play and they will have social gatherings here as well Maybe like a nice pool party or whatever um it is pretty quiet but I'm thinking it's because all the snowbirders, snowbirds left. So it leaves it for us transients that are coming in and out. And uh, yeah, not bad at all. So guys, our time here at Bay Bayou has came to an end. But what I want to show you while I'm packing, um, I had to get a new hitch and I am so proud of this hitch I mean after doing a lot of research I came across this hitch I seen nothing but good reviews on it how everybody spoke highly of this hitch which is the B&W companion fifth wheel hitch that I purchased from e-trailer shout out to e-trailer you always have the best rv accessories thank you e-trailer not only sell rv accessories if you call in they will help you to pick out what you need for your rv but anyway this hits by bnw it got to be the most popular hitch on the market and reason why I say that because every every review I seen, people was talking about this hitch, how easy it is to disassemble it, where this head itself pull the pins out, the heads come off. Let me show you guys. So you can you can disassemble it and take it off your truck. Let me put this here. All you do is lift up, and there go the head. The head comes right off, which is easy to carry and put back on. Once you take the head off, guys, you can take this out as well or you can take it all out together but they make it easy where you can take this off your truck 
if you need to hurry up and get it off your truck and um, use your truck for other things. So shout out to BMW Hitch. Shout out to E Trailer for selling this Hitch. My number one stopping store where I go to buy all my trailer products. Oh, and also, guys, if you're in a market for anything that have to do with RVs, the trailer is the way to go. I mean, I remember on my last RV, we we needed a key. And with the last RV, the last RV um, took a special key. It's a different key because Highland Ridge make a different key for their their RVs. So only place I can find that key was on E-Trailer. All they needed was the numbers off of the key. I called in, they, I gave them numbers off. They sent me three keys out and all three of them went to the door. So you can't beat that. Shout out to E-Trailer. Um, this link for this hitch will be in my description box as well as any other product that we show in this channel we show a lot of products to inform you what that's good out there what you can go and get where you don't have to go and do all the research and trying to figure out what will be the best product we telling you what will be the best thing you can go and do the research after that but you will find out what we say we're on it and we would not mislead you under any circumstances so it's time to get hooked up my Anderson blocks work great and they look great with the RV everything was nice and coordinated I got yellow on my last RV guys I had yellow blocks I had uh, red blocks I just had it all mismatched, but with this Anderson stuff, everything come all red. New ones in here. So let's see. Nice. Very, very clean. I am liking it. There you go. Definitely approve it. Now that was clean. And it looked like it was also renovated as well. So if you are needing to stay close to a bathhouse, um, like this unit here, That is site number. Oh, and they got overflow parking. So that would be perfect, right? That is site number 8307. They do have a lot of wildlife. And as you can see, I'm pretty sure they are annual. <laughs> but it's pretty here. That's site 88. What is that? Oh, mm -hmm. cute. They even have a dog walk or some type of a path right there that you can take. And that's for everybody there. Come down here and just take on the scenery. Definitely beautiful. So I'm going to take you to their gym tainer. And it's something that they just put on the property so I'll show you nice now this was definitely a clever idea Wow. Very, very nice. So 
so our neighbors they're leaving but um they are finding the most coolest things to do here while in tampa they went to a rodeo now they're going to go shark tooth oh what was that what in the world So that caught me off guard. <laughs> but if you're wanting to check out the observation deck here, I don't know what's in the water, but it was something that got in while I was arriving onto the deck and it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Hmm. Probably definitely a fish. I'm gonna assume that. Yeah. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> so this is the kayak launch that I was telling you about. Where come right here and take off so not bad at all definitely a nice add-on right They just recently put in a newer section which needs some time to mature as far as the bushes and the shrubs and all that good stuff but uh, it's pretty nice and at night I would have to say this pickleball court is used very often so but it's super pretty. So we are packing up and getting ready to go. I would have to say I actually had a great time. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to use pickleball court which we would have loved to have seeing that we don't know how to play and we were so close to it but definitely we'll have to save that for a next time so hope you enjoyed that campground review and if you're ever in the area check them out so i don't want anyone to think that talmage hit the pole <laughs> They thought about a lot of stuff when doing this part. These poles are removable so that you can get the right angle when needing to back it up. I think I need to move this pole across the street too. <laughs> this is a beast we're pulling, guys. <laughs> So one thing we don't play with is we do not second guess ourselves when it comes to hauling the new rig. So we're definitely going to take some precautions so that we can find our groove and basically get used to handling it. So far so good and uh, yeah so now we just got to do all this until we make it to Ohio. We gotta do something different this time. 
Yeah. I did. I locked it already. Yep. Yep, I did. Okay. You're doing all my checks. Thank you. I got you too. I got I got I got his back too. Please note. Even though my breakdown has now been cut in half, because of that, I help him a lot on things that he would typically and normally do. So now we definitely want to make sure we're looking at all trees while we go out. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash that red button if you haven't already done so, and make sure to ring the bell for the next adventures that we plan on having. And then on that note, bandits out. Looking good, looking good. I know. <laughs> so, hold on. You're gonna have to put these poles back. This is our site. Again very big rig family park <laughs> there you go always got to return things how you found them like that both poles were put right back